we rehearsed and rehearsed and didn't play a gig like for about six months or whatever. And I remember going to Dublin and playing, and we were like very much cultured and intimidated in the big smoke. And we played on a bill <coughs> with a load of Dublin bands, and everybody was like, well, where did these fellas come from? Because we were so tight and so well rehearsed, but it's, it's hard work. It's, it's really, it's really you must be dead proud of them. Proud of them. Yeah, I'm proud of them all because yeah. I've known them all since, you know, the way that size, because there's Martin, so they all went to Farnham School, the same um, primary school, and then they all, they hung out a lot around our house. They were filmmakers at first, they used to, yeah. <laughs> they fancied themselves as <laughs> film directors, so they used to make their own uh, Doctor Who episodes and, and, and Lauren Hardy and stuff like that, and then it developed into music, so it's incredible to see them, you know, Last week, Belgium probably a crowd of ten thousand people. Yeah, Andrew and Belen's in Belgium. Yeah, yeah, they handle it so well, and then they come back and play. Someone even turned around to watch us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> come back and play Blessed Fest down here in the yard, then to you know a couple of hundred people. Yeah. And, you know. And of course, we shouldn't forget that there's another generation coming through, the younger version, uh, Becky. Yeah, and yeah. are making more music, so we're going down another step, mm -hmm. another yeah, step. My younger sister just started playing. Frightening stuff. Yeah. 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 Right. They're playing a few of the festivals now. They're doing La Cala, they're doing Independence, they're doing uh, Hillsborough, Sunflower Fest. Now, with the help of these, this rhythm section, I'm playing yeah. behind them, but right. they, they had a version of. Um, because the Night. Because the Night, the Bruce Springsteen. Oh, that's a great song. Yeah, and Bruce was in Dublin, it went viral on, on, on Joe.ie put it up and it went viral so they've got bug now and yeah. Oh, no, my Martin's daughter oh well all his kids, but Zara and his big friend of Becky's and they're school together. Far from school again, yeah. it's great. But the town is great that way. Yeah. I've been very proud of the boys from the early sharing on Facebook because they always say spreading the cab and stuff, you know, and a different genre. But I mean, these are what they want to be because they want to be, and that's the bottom line. You yeah. know, it's not by accident. And I know now has been huge supporter. I should mention Jeremy Walsh as well. Jeremy, yeah, yeah. the archivist yeah, for all of us. You know, yeah. he's been yeah. gathering up the show band stuff, and he's yeah, yeah. a huge collection. And uh, people like him that that have wanted this to happen. Okay. It's great. Exactly. And, on and it's all family linked as well. Like in the fireplace, the drummer in the fireplace was Paul Cox, <laughs> who ah, yes. was looking after Anya. Well, Paul is my brother-in-law. He played, played with us in the fireplace, and now he's gone on to look after Anya. And, uh, so we're all kind of. You know, one big family. Yeah, it's just to say. And, and Paul Cox's so father, father, and I would have played the drums with me and Kelly Shander. Yes. You know, we were all, as I say, we were all sharing the love. I think it's, like you say to people, it's in the water. <laughs> it's in the water. It's it. That's it. So I was at school with Pete's dad, we were in the same class, and then he was in a band with Josh's, our guitarist, uh, Josh McClory. His dad, Tommy, had a band. Same with Mamma. Yeah, well, <laughs> Frightening yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There'd be a great genealogy yeah. to it. I think uh, Peter, yeah, the captain really is, uh, it punches above its weight with the arts. At the moment, we've really, like, there's an art space down there, Cabin Town Hall has taken over with the trans art group, Joe Keenan. And Joe's been promoting gigs since he had you two in the lobby in. You know, he brought all those great bands to Cabin back in the 70s, you know, with the Blades and all those people played. Well, it's a beautiful space. We talked.